people take themselves way too seriously these days, like street art, art, whatever. And it's like, yo, not everyone has to be super somber, serene, and serious. It's okay to smile every once in a while. I take my non-seriousness very seriously. Right, had the combination of Banksy and Tom Hanks is put it together. That's funny, Hanksy, ha ha ha. Oh, it'd be really funny if I drew it up and pasted it on a wall and it went viral. My little doodles are nothing. Compared to some of the work that's going on here, it's child's play. Mirror One showed up, now uh, who's like the fucking shit. He's super talented, photorealistic painter, like does stuff with a spray can I could never imagine doing. What makes an artist great is the fact that they do have a voice. I think that's what separates commercial art from fine art. And, uh, you know, that's just a choice you make at a certain point. You look at something, I want to draw that. Suddenly you realize that that thing that you're trying to draw is you. And it's just you in a different form. It comes out like this pillar or this branch or, you know, whatever you're drawing. You actually have your pain and your love, and it's not an ego power. It's suddenly like you've tapped into the real source. I grew up this way, you know, being from crews, painting yards. We were kids back in the days, climbing on rooftops, running from cops and helicopters, getting shot at, getting beat up by gangbangers, and we just wanted to do our art. And so you, you either did it quick or you got caught. He did in a day what would take me a week to do it. I spent about seven hours working on this piece. The term street art, the roots of it is graffiti art. It's graffiti art and it's vandalism. This just really comes down to passion. You find your own voice. The roots of graffiti art was always there to help us find our own voice. I want to be taken seriously. I am always looking for an opportunity to step up and talk about what's necessary because nobody does. Not because uh, you're gonna pay me or I'm gonna get your respect or you're gonna be my friend because, it, but because I feel it's right. And if I don't do it, who the hell is? The walls are always like first come, first serve. So when you tell the artist that, they want to get here right away and, you know, reserve their spot. What if I just like, I just went crazy. Like, fuck everybody. Like the dopest artist ever. And I'm just like, excuse me. Bah! I gotta go to the art store. I think we need it. No good, right? Well, I love Higgs. I do. Like, I, I think he's, he's really rad. It's been two days. It's been two days. Can you not? Can you please? God damn it. I like artists that don't take themselves too seriously and he's very down to earth, which is refreshing because he's, you know, he's got a larger audience. I'm not the A team. Like, that's like... I'd say you're a B out here. B? Yeah. That's yeah. A, 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 you know what I mean? A, I do like Shepard Fairy and like Tristan. You know? Really? Then I feel pretty good about that. I do my own thing so that I don't typically compare myself. I have no idea. I know that I'm a dope artist. Like, I, I know that. I know that. I also know that I'm a complete idiot, so... I wasn't even planning on painting today. 87 You know what, speaking of which, where's my Tinder date? Day one on to with Tinder and I've already got asked out on eight dates. Is that good or bad? It is good, right? I don't know, one guy's super hot. And he said, he was like, you know, real talk, I, I know you're, I've seen your work. I'm doing it for the ego. You know, I'm 34 now, so it's like, come on. I wanted to do a green, but I don't know if the green's gonna look good. Because if I do the, if I do the light source on the skull, bright green, I have to do the tentacles like a green. I love to paint. Ultimately, that's all I want to do. You know, Jules Buck, I've painted with her a million times. Jenna, obviously. It's cool to see chicks here. Ladies represent. Catch me on Tinder, right?
and I'm on Tinder fully for validation because I want to see how many like super hot guys I match with, like ridiculously hot. But the problem is, is that they're all coming to this opening and I, I'm bringing a date. I'm stoked, you know, I haven't met a lot of these people before, so to meet them face to face, it's been great. It's all gonna be over in a week, but let's make the good times last where they can.